So what you're going to see is an employee coming in, they click on their Outlook, they get inside there, they provide their email address, that's all they do. Under the covers, Access is using Mobile Tunnel. Tunnel authenticates the user, generates the SAML assertion, and boom, the user logs in to their Outlook. Next, they go to Dropbox. Similar behavior. They go there, put in their email address. All Access is doing is under the covers. It's giving you secure access to the application and single sign-on. You're getting a OAuth token. It's a single sign-on token out there. You go back to the Dropbox application, and you're single signed on there. Next, they go to Salesforce. Salesforce is an easier flow, and I will explain after this demo why. They go to the company single sign-on page. They did not put in their email address. Access knows who the user is. And they get access to their Salesforce account. Now, under also, this employee, what have, he has done is he also has an app called the Pulsar application, which you'll see now. It's an unmanaged application. Remember the Parasite app? That's the app. They go to Pulsar to log in to Salesforce. They go to their authentication page in Salesforce. What happens is it's an unmanaged application. So Access blocks it. This is a customized page you can provide to your end users on what they can do to remediate themselves. And finally, they're going to workplace you know, to interact with their fellow employees. They put in their email access, and now they have single sign-on to Facebook Workplace. All in a matter of about two minutes, they got access to four applications. One application got denied, all with mobile access. And, and all this the, was happening under the covers. And one of the, I, I was thinking as Vijay was showing this is that the slide you had right before this, which was the pile of documentation. So if you think about this and how much information you've got to give your end user to make this work, it's suddenly really short, right? Which is in a couple of applications, you enter your email address, that's it. And then in Salesforce, and I think you're going to describe it to the, the group, you don't actually even have to enter that. That's right. So Salesforce was a little different experience. The reason being that Salesforce is, at least I think, ahead of the pack here. What they are using is managed configurations. So via EMM from Mobile Iron, you can actually put, push configurations down to the application. That is, which is your Salesforce tenant? What is the user ID? Okay? And all that is done using a standard that is being developed called AppConfig. 